It's a big day for ferry riders in the Bay Area. Officials are taking the next steps in converting their vessels to zero emissions ahead of a fast approaching state deadline. That includes the launch of a passenger ferry that will cruise through the Bay. ABC 7 News reporter Gloria Rodriguez takes a look. So I'm inside the ferry right now and on July 19th it'll run for free for six months so you can try it out. It goes between here and Pier 41. But today we got a sneak peek inside Sea Change, the world's first commercial passenger ferry powered 100% by zero emission hydrogen fuel cells. It's a 70 foot catamaran ferry that fits 75 people. Stakeholders gathered near the ferry building to celebrate this innovation. I think it's just appropriate that San Francisco, which is a leader in so many things, especially when it comes to the environment, uh, is a leader in making sure that uh, ferries uh, become clean because I I think that was the one criticism of uh, water transit. It was it, it, that it was polluting. And even though we have really clean, by, by comparison, diesel boats, it's not nearly the same as having absolutely zero emission boats. That's not the only change coming. The Angel Island Timberon Ferry Company is getting ready to convert its boats to fully electric vessels. Today, operators signed an agreement with a company from New Zealand to design and build an all new vessel. The state is requiring all short distance ferries to be emissions free by the end of 2025. We're proud to be the supplier of the hydrogen system on board, which enables it to run with zero emission. The only exhaust is pure water, so pure that you can drink it. And there's a drinking fountain on board, so I invite everybody to do that as well. The ferry is owned by Switch Maritime and developed with support from a grant from the California Air Resources Board and made possible with the help of sponsorships and partners. In San Francisco, Gloria Rodriguez, ABC 7 News.